Hi, I have the pleasure of reviewing the Einol uh, Novo 7, um, purchased from MaryMobiles.com. Uh, this tablet is currently at a phenomenal price of uh, 150 and we'll get into uh, the features and everything that way, but uh, really a great 7-inch tablet. Um, as you can see, it has uh, some better packaging than some of the other tablets I've reviewed. There's a whole list of uh, features listed on the bottom here. Uh, it says it's Android 2.3.4 has an all-winner mini-core A10 processor listed at 1.2 gigahertz but many places I look listed at 1.5 gigahertz uh, 512 megabyte of DDR3 RAM has Wi-Fi 802.11 B, G, and N um, 3D acceleration it is a 7 inch 800 by uh, 480 uh, resolution screen and uh, 5 point multi-touch which works great and this is a really cool feature. It says it's four times full HD, 2160p, or 3840 by 2160. Basically, this thing can process videos. It can play your 1080p videos without any troubles. Um, it played all four of my 1080p samples smoothly, which I've not seen from any tablet device. Uh, it has dual camera also, a .3 on the front and a 2 megapixel on the back, uh, HDMI 1.4. Uh, Mary Mobiles includes the remote control, which is great, uh, G-Sensor, and the SOC, System on Chip. So with the box, um, again, all those uh, features listed there. Uh, this is an 8 gigabyte version, and it is a nice box. Go ahead and get it open here. There we go, there's a little tab you can use to pull it out. And so be careful flipping it open because the tablet is a little loose. Um, as you can see, there's a, a gap for it. But uh, this is the tablet itself. Um, and uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, in terms of the rest of the box, there's quite a bit included in here. You have a, uh, a manual. It is all in Chinese, but it is color and picture. Uh, so it's a nice little manual. Uh, comes with another little card here. Uh, headphones and uh, the sealed packaging. This is the remote I was talking about um, with escape, volume, and arrow keys and a menu and play button. Uh, the power charger right here uses a standard kind of plug. It is listed as a 5 volt 2 amp um, so it's possible I believe this device may be able to be charged by USB also. Set that aside. You get a standard USB cable with the, uh, the mini USB and an adapter cable. And Mary Mobiles also throws in the uh, Europe uh, power adapter. So, now onto the device itself. And we're going to just zoom in here a little bit. There we go. Uh, as I said, uh, the specs of this device it has a mini core uh, A10 processor, which really does a nice job. Uh, you can see it's got a nice glass type smooth finish here. You have uh, the camera here and uh, touch buttons. There's volume controls. I uh, love having external volume controls. Menu, home and back. Um, and that's on the front. And then you can see a little Android guy in the wireless logo there. On the uh, top of it, you have the power button here, the little dot. And you have another volume rocker um, right here. So it has two different volume controls. So you may be able to use a button reconfiguration manager and change those out to something else if you'd like. Uh, in terms of ports, uh, it's, this looks like where the screw would be hiding uh, to take it apart, but you have a headphone jack, the HDMI out which uh, should support 1080p uh, just fine. You have a microphone, uh, the USB, the micro SD uh, card there, which I have one in there, it doesn't come with one. Uh, this should be, one of these should probably be a reset button, uh, and there's a power port right here and yes as you can see uh, a mic, oh the receiver for the remote and on the back of it you have the 2 megapixel camera and uh, the speaker output here also it lists out the model and the voltage um, which is nice to see on the device the other sides are uh, pretty empty so let's go ahead and get this puppy turned on there we go um, and again, this is the Einol uh, Nova 7 Advance, and for the price, this is a phenomenal device. Um, really happy with it. I would put it almost, uh, well, pretty much on par with the, uh, the Hero Tab C8. Um, it's about the same weight, um, 
maybe just a hair smaller um, in terms of dimensions here. And really does pack some nice performance uh, into the device. So there we go. As you can see, the boot time was pretty quick. Uh, just slide the lock up. And even here, you have additional uh, volume and menu controls. Uh, you have the virtual ones at the top bar. So you're not lacking for controlling volume and uh, menu and all of that. Um, the device itself is smooth as butter. Um, let's go ahead and pull up the settings. Scroll down here, about device. Uh, model you see is listed as Novo 7 Advance, Android 2.3.4, uh, baseband 1.5.1. And the firmware on this is dated 9-19-2011. And we'll go back. Um, and you have pretty much all your standard Android features in here, privacy, storage. Um, right now I've got an 8 gig external card, but you can also see uh, down here it's listed as a, about 900 megabytes set aside for uh, apps to be installed. Um, you have your wireless networks, uh, which you can control, and one thing that's always kind of good to do is you want to set the Wi-Fi sleep policy to never. Um, and again, to get to that, just go into the wireless devices there, hit menu, click advanced, and then click Wi-Fi sleep policy. I like it at never. It makes it so it doesn't disconnect on me. Uh, we'll go back here and display. This is where you can control the brightness. Uh, there's accelerometer coordinate system, so it looks like you can adjust that. And uh, that's the settings. And let's go ahead and pull up uh, some programs. Um, to start with, let's go with Angry Birds. And again, it's nice having the virtual volume buttons here, or if you prefer, the physical ones up top there. And as you can see, it just cruising through this whole thing. Angry Birds as smooth as can be. Quit out of there. Uh, Fruit Ninja, another nice program here. And this can kind of show off the uh, multi touch. And then we got two, three, four and five. So as you can see, five point multi-touch. Click here. Um, and uh, in terms of ebooks, you can install Aldeco and White Fang. It's already installed. As you can see, uh, right now it's set with the uh, white background, black text. Uh, you can increase the font size to make it easier to read. You can also set uh, day-night mode. So it's easier to read at night without straining your eyes. So text. Increase our font. There you go. So ebooks are covered. You're great to go there. Videos. Now this is one thing I want to show you. Um, there's a built-in file manager which actually works really well for accessing the external card. Um, I found it when you pull up like ES File Explorer, you have to go to a different folder and things that way. But you can click SD up here, and I've got some test videos here. And I'm not even going to bother with the 480 and the 720p because it plays every 1080p just fine using this uh, 2160p software. So this is a WMV 1080p file. And as you can see, it's got no issue there. Then I've got an MPEG here, 1080p, still smooth. We've got an MP4 file here, 1080p. I would imagine this thing could also play uh, MKV files without too much issue, unlike uh, a lot of devices, but I don't have one to test. Uh, and then one more 1080p, this is an M2TS or H.264 file format.
and again, just as smooth as can be. So, video performance on this device, phenomenal. And let's go ahead and pull up a, another game here. I've got Heavy Gunner, and I'll jump the video forward just so we get to the, uh, the loading process of it, or get past the loading process. And actually, that loaded pretty quick. Okay, tap continue, start. And one thing that's important to do is you want to calibrate. And you can set the sensitivity as you like. But as you can see, um, pure performance uh, from this device. Really, again, at the price, you just can't beat this device at the price. Okay, exit out of Heavy Gunner. Um, let's see, we'll go ahead and just pull up the browser real quick. Now this device didn't come with a lot of applications on it. It actually came with pretty much just bare minimum. Um, so I've installed most of these programs. Um, and also, I don't believe it came with the market installed. Uh, there should be a firmware update uh, released that will include the market in it. Um, I've manually installed the market um, as an option, but uh, it doesn't have a very good key. So, in terms of Android market features, you might need to, to check and see if uh, there's been a firmware release recently. But in terms of device performance, and if you know how to manually install uh, programs on it, it's got everything you need performance-wise. Go away. Go. I'll just go to Mary Mobile's website here real quick. And Mary Mobile sells all manner of uh, different items, so they sell remote control cars and holiday things, um, everything besides just tablets. So with the, uh, we'll just type in, oh, Nova, Novo, go. And I'm using Dolphin Browser HD right now. I just find it to be a, a nice browser. And it's the deal of the day price uh, is listing it at uh, 149 with free shipping. Um, and you can see the specs there, 2.3.4, um, dual camera, free remote, uh, the A10 uh, processor, 5 point multi-touch, 512 megabyte of RAM, uh, and it can play flash. Um, just basically everything you'll need from a tablet. Exit out of there. Well, let's see, is there anything else we want to show you here real quick before we go? Um, you can install the YouTube app and have access there. I'm just going to pull up uh, a program called Toddler Lock just so we can show you that screen again. There's one, two, three, four, oh, four, and five. So, uh, just excellent screen on this device, excellent processor. Um, if you couldn't tell, I really like it. Um, it's got a nice, nice weight and feel. It's kind of a soft plastic back. Um, so if you're in the market for a 7-inch tablet, I would really suggest taking a look at the, uh, the Inol Novo 7 um, on Mary Mobiles and, you know, see if it fits the bill. I'm also pleased to report that to my root script that I have, or that I made for different devices, uh, seems to work for this device, so it is uh, easily able to be rooted uh, for those that want to venture into that territory. So thanks for watching, um, and if you have any other questions, uh, check it out on uh, the comments for the video. One very quick add-in, uh, this device does have haptic feedback in it also, so it has a vibration sensor um, if you're looking for that, uh, so when I hold down the power button, you can kind of feel it uh, vibrate to turn off.